Yo, what a beautiful snowy day. It's a bit chilly out here. Yo, who are you? When I popped off, stun, are, you lazy? are you subscribed to Flowways? No. What'd you say? Don't you dare say that again. No. Alright, buddy, you're coming with me. Stupid idiot. Stupid idiot. Get on there, bro. You're going in my shed. I'm gonna get locked in my shed. Ever. Idiot. Get in there. Idiot. That's why you subscribe to Flowways or you die. See this? He's gonna get locked in there forever. As you can see, guys, if you don't subscribe, you get locked in my shed. So make sure to do it or else you're going to end up like that. Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get 20 plus CPS on any mouse. Now this may seem clickbait, but trust me, I've done this many times before on the channel. To give you an example, I've gotten 20 plus CPS on the Red Dragon M711 Cobra, the Rocat K100, and even on a $1 mouse. This just proves that it is possible to get 20 plus CPS on different types of mice. And the goal of this video is to teach you how to butterfly 20 plus CPS on your mouse. Something I really want you to keep in mind is don't rely too much on the performance of your mouse. Your skill is also very important when it comes to any clicking method. Making sure that you have the right placement, position, and grip. You can't always blame the mouse for not succeeding. If you have any questions related to the video, or you would just like to join a friendly community, consider joining my beautiful Discord server. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So depending on what type of mouse you have, this step can be considered very important. So if your mouse does come with a software, I really suggest you to look for a debounce option. For my mouse, which is the Rocat K100, I'm going to go to advanced settings and here you see zero debounce. I'm going to turn this on because what zero debounce does, it makes sure that my mouse can generate more clicks per second. So having this on is super useful. Now if your software has a slider, make sure to put your slider to the lowest debounce time. This will really help you with butterfly cloaking. So when it comes to butterfly clicking, you always want to make sure that you have the proper position of your hand on the mouse. Let me show you. So this is how my hand looks like when I'm about to butterfly click. And then I just place it over the mouse like that. Like that. Just like that. Okay. What you want to do is you want to make sure that your pointer and your middle finger are separated from your ring finger and your pinky finger. So there's this gap between your fingers, right? As soon as you have this position, all you have to do is just put your hand like that like this on the mouse and your pinky will go on the side and your thumb will go right here this is how it should look like one thing i really like about this position is that it's really easy to aim too so as you can see i can aim very easy because i have my thumb and my pinky on the side to support my mouse let me show you of an example of me let's say in a game butterfly clicking As you can see, it's very easy to aim because my pinky and my thumb are supporting the mouse. As well, I have plenty of room for my middle finger and my pointer finger to butterfly click here. So this is why your positioning of your hand is very important. So just keep this, this, uh, this shape in mind and just put it on the mouse like that and have your pinky and your thumb supporting the mouse. This will give you really good grip for butterfly clicking. So one of the key techniques that I'm going to be showing you for butterfly clicking is you always want to make sure that you're using the whole part of your finger for butterfly clicking. This is the best way to get 20 plus CPS. For example, here, I'm going to butterfly click like this, right? Like this is how you butterfly click, right? So let's say each tap I do gives me, let's say, 3 CPS, right? 3 CPS, or th 2 to 3 CPS, right? And then my next finger will give me 2 to 3 CPS too. And then over time, as soon as I start doing this faster and faster, I'll get more CPS over time. So basically, you never ever want to use the tip of your finger for butterfly clicking. But I'm going to give you an example of what I mean. I'm going to be using the whole part of my finger. So let me show you why it's really important to use the pad of your finger. Each tap I'll do will give me 3 CPS and the more I click, 
the more CPS I'll get. So as you can see right now, I'm going to butterfly click like with the whole part of my finger. So let me show you. As you can see, I got 20 CPS right there. 20 there. 20 CPS right there. 20 CPS. So as you can see, I get 15 to 20 CPS when I am, you know, butterfly clicking with the whole part of my finger, right? So what you don't want to do is you don't want to use tip of your finger for butterfly clicking. So you don't want to be doing this. See, I get like 10 CPS, 10 to 9 CPS, whereas before I was getting 16 to 20 CPS. So let me use the whole part of my finger now. 20, 20, 20, 20, like that. So that's what I mean. You always want to use the whole p part of your finger. You don't want to use the tip. But what do you do if you have a mouse that isn't that good at double clicking? So obviously I'm not roasting the M711 Cobra here. I'm just saying that the M711 Cobra isn't as good as the Kane 100 when it comes to double clicking and drag clicking. Obviously I can double click and drag click much better on the Kane 100. Let's say if you have a mouse that isn't good at double clicking and drag clicking, I'm going to be showing you how to get 20 CPS on a mouse like this. So obviously the simple solution is to just click more fast. Um, now this can be very hard, especially with your hand because your fingers will get tired over, you know, they'll get tired very fast. But the more you butterfly click, the more your fingers will get used to butterfly clicking. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a workout for your fingers. I'm going to try to click 20 CPS very slow. See if I, if I, when I do it slow, I get like 10 to 12 CPS. If I did the cane 100, I would have gotten 20 CPS right away. Let me show you how you can get 20 CPS with this mouse. You want to make sure that you're lined up and you want to click extremely fast and try to get any double clicks on your way. So remember, use the whole pad and start butterfly clicking. So as you can see, I got 20 CPS right there. See, I got 20 CPS again right there. So the way I do it is you have to click really fast on a mouse that isn't that good at double clicking, but make sure to get any double clicks on your way. But overall, the main tip here is just to be very fast on a mouse that isn't that good at double clicking. Also, another thing that's very important when it comes to butterfly clicking is the pressure. So, if I'm butterfly clicking on my mouse, you don't want to whack your mouse extremely hard. You don't want to beat it. You gotta take care of it, bro. You gotta love it, okay? You don't want to beat it. When I butterfly, I usually just do like a t light tap, like a decent tap for each of my taps, you know? I don't like to just extremely smash it because if you smash the mouse, you will not see any CPS improvement. You'll actually see a CPS drop because you're smashing the double clicks, right? Like your double clicks aren't going through because you're pressing too hard on the mouse. So you want to do like a decent tap on the mouse. You don't want to smash your mouse when you're butterfly clicking. So just keep that in mind. Make sure the pressure is decent, not too hard. So the motion of butterfly clicking on any mouse, if you want to get 20 CPS, is it's either it's one two 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 like that okay so what i mean by this is you don't you want to make sure that you have a consistent pattern you're not tapping the mouse two times with your middle finger and then tapping it one time with your pointer finger you want to make sure that's always going to be tap 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 and if you're new to butterfly clicking you might have a hard time uh following that but Trust me, if you're more consistent with your taps, you will get 20 CPS easily. You don't want to apply more pressure on one finger and apply no pressure at all on the second finger. Make sure your both fingers are balanced, putting equal pressure on each finger. So tap, 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 tap. And then as soon as you start getting better, you can start doing this motion really fast and you will get 20 CPS in no time. 
Alright guys, so basically yeah, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be showing some dual fights with three different types of mice. Uh, I'm going to be butterfly cloaking, so I'm going to be using the Eurocat K100, the M711 Cobra, and that trash Happy Meal Dollar $1 mouse toy. Um, but trust me, it does work very well. For this ending, I'm just going to be basically showing you that it is possible to butterfly click 20 CPS on different types of mice. So that's what's going to be the goal of this video. Remember, 15 to 20 CPS is considered very good. And most of these servers have a cap of 20. So, you know, 15 to 20 CPS is really what you need. Uh, really all you need. Uh, I think anything above that is just too much because these servers do cap your CPS. And I believe if you go over the, the CPS cap, you will get banned. But I just don't think it's a good idea to go over 20 CPS. But let's give it a try. So first of all, I'm gonna use the Eurocat K100. All right, Uchicha uh, Itachi. All right, buddy. What is up? Nice bow shot. All right, all right, okay, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. As you can see, that 22 CPS right there, that was pretty nice. Yeah, I don't know what happened to this. This guy just got crippled. Holy. This guy went down to zero HP in like one second. That's how powerful butterfly clicking is. Don't you dare spam, bro. Don't you dare. Okay, buddy. I'm horrible at the bow. I'm just trash. Okay, there we go. That was the Eurocat K100. I hope I got 20 to 22, like 20 CPS in that clip. Now I'm going to be using the M711 Cobra. So let's see if I can try. Alright, alright going down bro bro they just they go down to like zero in like three seconds all right that was that was well played and let me get my crippled mouse i told you all that i did not throw this happy meal toy i will be showing you 20 cps so let me just show you in the lobby with this one they hard to get yeah right there right there right there did you see that Again, 20 CPS. Like, see, this is what I mean. It's possible to get 20 CPS on any mouse. So, let's go to Classy Duel and use this Happy Meal toy. Yo, come here. Come, what is the sensitivity on this mouse? Oh my. Sensitivity is just too high. Oh, okay. I don't. The sensitivity is too high. I forgot to change the. Alright, there we go. Okay. Um, that was very close. I forgot to change the sensitivity. All right, so as you can see, all three of these mice can butterfly click 20 CPS, and I think your mouse will also be able to do the same. Just give it some effort and you will get it. For the conclusion of this guide, I really hope you learned something from this video. It would mean a lot to me if you can subscribe. I will know how many people found this video useful. Butterfly clicking is very simple and can be done with ease. All you need to do is make sure you practice and get consistent. I know that butterfly clicking can be very hard because you are always continuously clicking your finger at a very high speed. But trust me, it's kind of like a workout for your finger. The more you practice, the more consistent and better you'll get at butterfly clicking. Remember, don't lose hope. Just because someone else has a better mouse doesn't mean you can't butterfly click 20 CP. The tips during this video will work for any mouse. The link to the different mice I butterfly clicked on are in the description below. My target audience for this video was more of beginners and if this video gave you a hand, it really means a lot to me. Besides that, if you want to come say hi or you know, to just talk to me, join my beautiful discord, it's a great community. Soon we will even start hosting some events with valuable prize. Other than that, I really hope you have a great day, peace out.